Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on recoding variables in Excel. In counseling research, it's fairly common to use Microsoft Excel to manipulate and arrange data and then load that data into SPSS so that statistical analyses can be performed. There is, however, some overlap between Excel and SPSS and recoding variables is an example of one of those areas of overlap. So in SPSS there is a feature named recode into different variables and I have a separate video that covers that. But I'm going to perform the same function in Excel using the fictitious data I have here in this worksheet. So I have here three variables have one independent variable, two levels, control and treatment, and I have a pretest variable and a post-test variable. So let's say we want to recode the pretest variable from the values that are currently in this variable uh, into new values that are based on these values. So I'll show you a couple examples of that. But the first thing we need to do is determine the range present in the pretest. Uh, more specifically, the minimum and the maximum value represented in the pretest variable. So that's fairly easy to do in Excel. Uh, first, I'll run the minimum, and in this case, it'll just be the entire column. And we can see that's 40. And the maximum, again, the entire column is 60. So we know the minimum value in the pretest variable is 40 and the maximum is 60. So I'm going to move here to another worksheet that I named data. And I'm in column A, I'm just going to enter 40 and then 41 in, in uh, cell A2. And I'm going to autofill all the way down to 60. You can see I have the entire range of possibilities for pretest contained in column A on this uh, data worksheet. So I'm going to show you two possible ways to convert this data, recode this data, in terms of what the output might look like. So really it's the same method, it's just two different possible types of output. One would be scale. Right, so the, the easy example here would just be 1, 2, and then all the way down to 21. And the other will be ordinal, which I'll show you in a few minutes. So let's just uh, recode 40 to 60 into 1 through 21. Let's start with that. So that's uh, scale in SPSS. So this would be uh, referred to as scale to another uh, scale variable here uh, in column B. So we'll go to the first worksheet that has the data. And I'm going to go ahead and put a grid or grid lines around the entire area just to keep it consistent. And this will be a new uh, pretest variable. So we'll just call this uh, pretest, I'll just call this recode. And center it, and I'll fill color. Let's uh, make it orange just to make it consistent with the rest of the worksheet. So then I'm going to enter a function into this cell that's going to look up this value on this table and return the corresponding value. Um, so it's going to look up the value in column A and return the corresponding value from column B which will accomplish the recode function that we want to achieve. So this, the function will be entered into this cell. You'll be able to copy all the way down through the, the entire, you know, all the rows, and it'll work correctly. But you have to set up um, in a specific way to be able to copy it all the way down. So I'll show you how we do that. So we're going to be using the index and match 
functions together. And if you want to learn more about this combination, I have another video on that as well. So first, we'll start with index. And you can see the first uh, criteria, the first argument that is looking for here is array. And this array is going to actually be column B on the data on the data worksheet, specifically B1 through B21. And I clicked F4 there at the end to make this absolute. So that puts in the dollar signs to make this an absolute reference. I put a comma and you can see the next argument it's looking for is the row number. So the row number you're going to want to match the pretest data. So we're going to use the match function nested in the index function and it's going to ask for lookup value. So going back to the uh, pretest post test worksheet, the lookup value is going to be B2 in this case. Then it's asking for the array and we're going to go back to data and the array will be the populated cells in column A which would be A1 through A21. Again I'm going to click F4 here to make this absolute. I just want to note that when selecting the lookup value which was B2 do not make that an absolute reference but the lookup array you do want to be absolute. In this case we're going to uh, end with exact match which is a zero and you can see it's recoded 43 into 4. And if you look here uh, 43 does in fact match up with 4 so it did what we wanted it to do. And since it's set up with the absolute references in the correct places and uh, it has the relative reference here for uh, B2 we can autofill this all the way to the end and it'll return the correct values. So this would be a scale to scale. So a scale level measurement uh, recoding into a scale variable. Now once we have this function in place as we do now, it becomes very easy to change how we recode this pretest variable. So say we want to make this uh, column B, instead of 1 through 21, we want it to be ordinal let's say uh, low, medium, and high. So we'll say that 40 is low. We'll enter that value. And we can autofill that, let's say, to 46. So if participant scores between 40 and 46, their ordinal value associated with those scores is low. And in a similar fashion, we could have a medium level and we can make that from let's say 47 through 55 and then for 56 through 60 we'll have high All right, so now this is configured differently this is going from uh, scale to ordinal if we go back here we can see I had to change nothing on this worksheet because uh, the function was already in place and it's correctly uh, recoded the pretest variable into low, medium, and high depending on the specified value in the particular row. So this accomplishes the same end result as can be done with SPSS using the recode into different variables feature and it has some advantages and disadvantages in comparison with SPSS. The uh, disadvantage would be it's a little harder to set up. It takes a little longer because you have to uh, you have to build this table and you have to insert the function. Its advantage is that once it's configured, the advantage for Excel is once it's configured you can go in to this table, to these uh, two columns, and very easily change uh, the variable, the recode variable. You can change the values uh, quite easily 
and not have to change anything else on the worksheet that contains the data and the recode will take place before you even click over into the the worksheet so it's it's convenient to change this data change the recode and then quickly be able to see uh, how the recode looks and then maybe go back and change something else and again uh, come back and, and view it so it you don't have to keep uh, executing a command uh, to see the recode and of course you can take this data and import this directly into SPSS and I have another video that covers how to do that. I hope you found this video on recoding variables in Excel to be helpful as always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.